What's your, what, what's your secret? Well, this is part of it because Marie was only, only 18 when we married, and people were supposed to say, Oh, you married you know, with, uh, with Rob. Rob the Cradle. <laughs> and I, I, figured, I figured, Oh, no, they'd given up cradles by the time she was born. So you're saying the secret to a long and happy life is younger women? Yes. <laughs> And the, and the real secret is never disagree with your wife. <laughs> well, how much older is he? Uh, 30, 17. 17. 17 years, years older? Hello. Uh, <laughs> We've been married 70 years, yeah. We've been married 70 years. Of course, part of that time he was traveling for AT&T. Right? I was home <laughs> taking care of the children. And he would come home and look at us all around the table and he'd say, oh, better service than this at the Robert E. Lee Hotel in Winston-Salem. And I said, honey, this isn't the Robert E. Lee Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> there are five children here and things are going on. <laughs> so 107 years, what's the most amazing thing you've seen in 107 years? Well, it's, it's almost in line with the... Um, Biggest improvement in our town, pavements. <laughs> no, what's the biggest thing? I can tell you. I think in electronics, in electronics. Electronic. Electronic. You work at Bell Labs. He I, was was Bell Labs. To, I was sent to Buenos Aires to uh, help four other engineers uh, install a uh, very high, high, powerful 20 kilowatt telephone transmitter. And a month, a couple of months after it was installed and working, and, uh, and, and, and straw winds came up that they never had experienced before, and, and wrecked the thing. It blew the wires, soldered it, soldered it a pencil, with curved like, like sails. And the winds blow it out, and it uh, just, just wrecked the thing, a couple of million dollars. <laughs> but uh, I, I, think, I hope. I think the most amazing thing was that he knew Chuck Carl Jansky, and Carl Jansky was the first who heard sounds from outer space. He was, he was uh, honored uh, several years ago by Bell Labs. They put a, a replica of his antenna. Uh, and, and the um, National Society, uh, when they're in their formula, the, the, the signals that they get from outer space are now rated in Jansky's. And uh, I was one of the early uh, observers of it, and a friend of Carl sent me, sent a car up to Chester for me, took me down to an all day affair in, in Homedale. So it was, a, it was a big deal, and I went to the island. What did the spacemen say when they were talking from outer space? What did the spacemen say? <laughs> Incomprehensible. <laughs> and, and I saw the, the huge antenna that was built on, on, a, on a mountain peaks. Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. Oh, I received one. And they had a, a whole display of called early antennas. And they were glad to meet me who knew him, Carl. Pretty good. And then going back to the hotel, I bought a big watermelon and then <laughs> divided up with other students. I down there. But, um, group of choirs, of course, and gave us concerts in the island. And I, and I, over, over a few years, I traveled to many places, many churches and all over uh, the 
out in the Christmas time, the village of churches, the ministers were graduated with what group? group. What, with what group? Who were you traveling with? The choir director. Did you? Did you? Well, great talking to you. Yeah. And uh, Aaron Wright. <laughs> And, and many, many more years to you. Pardon? Many more happy years for you. And many oh. more happy years. Oh, you know, thank you. I, I don't tell people I plan most of this. And I, I'm going to, I'm hopefully, I'll be about 120 so that people can come visit me as the oldest person in the world. <laughs>